Hello and welcome to a new video about my motor controller, MQTT motor controller. I think you have noticed that I really pissed off that I have to always press the button to load my ESP32 controller. There are other controllers out there and so I bought one other ESP32 controller and I want to test it simply. Mm, want to test it? Uh, here, this is the thing I've bought. Look at that. Uh, open. Already difficult to open. Cut it. Zack. Take. Here. ESP32 Lowling. Yeah. It. They say it's a breadboard friendly design. And I'm going to solder those things now in, yeah? and then we will see how friendly those things are. Yeah? So, soldering iron is hot. Let's start. So I soldered it in. Let's see. Let's see what it means, breadboard friendly. Here is my thing. And indeed we can plug it in. And on the left on the right hand side there's still one one line left. Right, so it seems to be really more breadboard friendly than this one. Good. So let's unplug this in five volt. This five volt also here somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Do I have an issue with five volt now here? Let's have a look at the at the pinout. Okay, there is no 5 volt port. There's only 3 to 3 volt in the ground. So we also would need some voltage regulator then. Let's see if I find one. I know I've had one somewhere. Somewhere. I will find it. I will find it. For sure. <laughs> Oh, 
I will have a look at it afterwards. I want to test it. I want to test it. So I'm really unplugging this now. Use this. So what was this? The yellow one was 27, 26, 25. 27, 26, 25. Ground is okay. Plus another thing. 27, 26, 25. All right. And here, what was this? This was also ground. So I simply plug it in here. This was plus 5 volts. Mm, plus 5 volts. So I will simply tune for now. I will just tune this down to 5 volts. The power supply. The power supply of the motor also go to 5 volts only. Okay. So it should be fine. Plug it in here. I will solve the 5 volt issue later. Alright. So now I have this ESD32 Lowlin. Let's see if it's working. I will try to download now something. Plug it in. Flashy blue light. I'm not sure what it means. Mm -hmm. It's connected. Good, so let's switch to the computer. Alright, so at the computer, this is our program. I will just try to download it, okay? Just try to download. Uploading. working. I did not press anything, it's working. Okay, that's a big that's a big breakthrough, okay? Let's see if also if also the power the the motor is still working. So I will simply uncomment this here and upload. Then the 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 line command is no longer working because I am stuck in the loop and so on. However, we should see the motor turning. We should see the motor turning. Let's see. No. Why not? Twenty seven and twenty six are the direction pins, and twenty five is the neighbor pin. Ah. ah, I have no power supply. Without power supply of the logic, nothing is working, right? But also now. Also now. Ground. Let's see if the motor itself is turning. Plus and minus. Yes. Seems so. Let's see if I can just turn it on. Ay, ay, ay. Always things to discover. Always things to discover. Ah! Oh, 
hand. Now I realize what is happening. Of course, the parameters. This is not stored in here. We don't have set the parameters. <laughs> Man, God. I have not set the parameters. This cannot work because I don't know what is written inside these parameters now. Ah, you know the the EEPROM is not. It's not eight bit. It's simply something. It will not. It is not working. Not working. Okay. So let's set the parameters. Ooh, hopefully it's working now. So, get param zero. What is this? Zero minus zero. That's yeah, yeah. Set param zero, and I have to set it to zero dot zero frequency. It was forty, right? Forty hertz. Yeah. And set parameter two to zero dot zero eight. This was uh, eight bit. All right. All right. Uh, set param, ooh, set param zero, of course. Uh, ooh, already next error. I'm starting with zero. All right, now it should work. PVM resolution is eight and PVM frequency is 40. Right, man, God. As stupid as it gets. You see how easily you can be think Ooh, something is broken and nothing is working and and then it's just 90% of all errors are between the screen and the seat. Yeah. The issue is those things only do what you tell them and not what you like. Ah, it makes a sound. It makes a sound. It seems like ooh, you, 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 you. it's ah it's starting to turn. Yeah, look, 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 look. Ooh, you, 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 you. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. Sorry, sorry. All right, all right. So it's working with this little fella also, and I don't have to press this stupid button. Huh? This is good, this is good. So uh, now I'm starting to connect to the, to the Wi-Fi, right? Next video, connect this thing to Wi-Fi. Good, good. For this time, thank you very much for listening, goodbye.